So unfortunately, the district has had to make some, some pretty difficult decisions, none of which um, are easy to make. One of the considerations that needed to be looked at was the late buses and the enrollment of students that ride the late bus coming from this campus. Um, in looking at that, the late buses don't always fill up, and so in looking at the number of students that utilize those buses, it looked like it was going to be a, a difficult decision to make, but it looked like that might be a place that we could work around. It wasn't worth the money when we had to make some serious decisions. That needed to be a place that, that perhaps we could afford to make that, that decision. Since middle school, I've done crypto club, jazz band, middle school select choir. Um, I've stayed after for help for my classes, and I did women's choir. In middle school, I was in the select choir uh, and men's choir. I participated in the middle school select choir and middle school field hockey. And in high school, I participated in the musical and the ball play. If students can't participate in extracurricular activities, such as the visual performing arts groups and or robotics or DECA, all those groups that meet after school and including the academic portion of staying for extra help, that's a serious concern for me because the whole high school experience includes what goes on after the school day. Um, what concerns me most is that the amount of kids starting middle school programs won't be able to sign up for like middle school select choir and so that when they get to the high school the number of people in that are going to drop because they're not going to think it's cool anymore or they won't have like the experience needed. Probably the after school help because I know a lot of people go to that and I'm really, I feel like if I needed it, I would definitely use it, and if, the, if there are no late buses, then that wouldn't really be something that, would, that could happen anymore. So the, uh, obviously the, the impact on students is, is the top concern. Obviously it's the top concern for, for me, for the superintendent, for the principal, for the school committee, and obviously that was at the core of the debate. Um, at the end of the day, when we had to cut 1.7 million, it was a matter of what has the least impact on the fewest amount of students, hence where we arrived at the late buses. Um, the reality is there is there would be an impact um, for students who rely on the late bus. At least 50% of the, of the members of those groups, full 50% of the students said they would not be able to do it anymore. So uh, I am really hoping that something comes through with the budget and we find a way to get some late buses back in because um, I would I would just hate it, it would kill the after school portion of the music program and those are some of our really fun and award winning groups and they're sort of those extra things that uh, that make Triton's uh, experience sort of special for the students. So again, I mean it, we don't have we don't have a plan B because we don't have the opportunity to provide other other transportation. We could work around and try other methods of providing transportation, whether it being carpool, whether students could, um, there are some students that drive themselves. I wouldn't really be able to get that much help after school because my parents both work like until like after the school day ends, until really late, and I wouldn't be able to do much of the arts because my sister does a lot of sports and so she wouldn't be able to drive me like from school back to home, so I wouldn't be able to participate in really anything. I think that um, colleges and future opportunities really look at how well-rounded a child is and they think that um, the more activities you do, the better prepared you are for life and this isn't necessarily going to be available to all students anymore without the late bus. So um, it is again something that is taken seriously and that we are going to talk about over the summertime as an um, administrative team to find out what kind of impact and, and what we're going to come up with as troubleshooting and problem solving to address those concerns as they arise next year.